Welcome back, everyone! It looks like, last chapter, we actually avoided a death. So that ends the streak at two there. Let us not start a new streak, please. I would rather not. <laughs> anyway, as I said at the end of the last episode, we have officially made it into double digits. We are on chapter 10, Prisoner Release. Prisoner Release, huh? What does that mean? Who are we releasing? Hey, Ike. I heard you're leaving. Going to Benyon, eh? Hello, Renolf. I was hoping I'd see you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done. I'm glad to have the chance before I leave. Well, aren't you the dutiful one? Hey, that reminds me. You were born here in Galia, right? I knew there was something odd about you. You're awfully friendly for a Bjork, you know. Oh, you might not know, but a Bjork is what... I know what it means. It's what you call us humans, right? Oh, knew that, did you? Well then, let me tell you something else. When we use the word human, we mean it much the way you, Bjork, do when you call a subhuman. Really? It's an insult to be called a human? I'm glad you told me, I would have never guessed. I should warn you, if you run across any Lagoos who call you that, be careful, they are no friend of yours. Got it, thanks, I won't forget. But I've digressed long enough. Let me explain why I'm here. By the way, wouldn't that mean Lethe's an enemy because she keeps calling us humans, doesn't she? Anyway, whatever. Huh? Princess Alencia, may I have a moment of your time? Where'd she come from? Uh, yes, of course. The king asked that I give you this. Please accept it as a gift. What? May I ask? Within that leather pouch is 20,000 gold pieces. Be our currency, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate this generous offer. But a gift of this magnitude is not something I can accept. King Kanegis has done so much more than necessary already. The king is ashamed that he cannot at this time provide any personal support. Please, will you accept his apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But... No? Well, let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift, then as payment for conducting you... Conducting you safely to Gallia, you hand it over to Ike. Uh, um... Come on, Randolph, you can't expect her to accept this. It's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. 20,000 gold for the life of a princess? Perfectly reasonable. In fact, it almost borders on insulting. Consider how you have suffered, the lives you have lost, 10, no, 100 times, this amount would not be re unreasonable. Dot, dot, dot. I... I have reconsidered. I will accept the king's kindness. In turn, I will present it to my lord, Ike. You will accept it, will you not? I... I will. Thank you. No, my lord, Ike. It is I who must thank you. Got 20,000 gold. Oh, yeah. Well, now, that's... That. That's... That settled... What? That? That's... Oh, now that that's settled... Wow, I could not read that correctly. Let's move on. Unfortunately... We do not have any ships here in Gallia. If you are to find a ship that will take you to Benyon, you must return to occupied Crimea. If there's no other way, then we'll just have to risk it. Why don't you guys have ships? No matter how cautiously you proceed, you're certain to run into Dayan forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're so short on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about that now. However, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. In regard to your personal problems, the king has decided to lend you what aid he can. Lethe, Mordecai. I will join you. Mordecai, and Lethe, both of you? Are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans. I myself tremble with loathing. My, I myself tremble with loathing at the thought. What? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to Benyon. Oh, going, I don't even get it anymore. When the king gives an order, obedience is the only option. I keep reading these really wrong for some reason. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of the Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you. I have no intention of becoming friends. Do not forget that, and stay out of my way. Ha <laughs> you must forgive Lethe. Her tongue cuts as deep as her claws do. I will return once I report to the king. While I'm gone, please finish your preparations for departure. Very well. Alright, preparations time, is it? Nope, never mind. Like, right, here's a summary of our last battle. 20,000 gold earned, thank you. 
3,640 spent. It gives us 22,460. Combat experience, 703. We got 250 bonus. Don't know why, but anyway. Marcia, Lethe, Mordecai, Mist, and Rolf as new allies. That's five new allies. That's pretty dang good. There were no casualties and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report, if you'll excuse me. Alright, excellent. So, support conversations. Let's just get that underway. Hmm... It looks like Mist and Rolf have a conversation. So, I guess we'll do Ike's and Titania's first of all here. Hey, Ike. Training? Yeah, you too, huh? Hey, do you want to spar? I learn a lot when we team up. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I thought you no longer needed my lessons. What are you talking about? You're the one who put the finishing touches on my, what swordsmanship I inherited from my father. Hmm. I'm honored to hear you say so. I mean it. But the talent you inherited from your father is one of a kind. I want you to cherish it. Huh? Hey, Titania. When did you meet my father? You used to be a Crimean knight, right? That's right. But it's a long story, and we need to train. Get ready. Focus. Fine. Okie dokie, then. We will focus. Mist and Rolf. Conversation. Rolf! Oh, there you are! Mist, were you looking for me? Yes, I've been meaning to talk to you. We haven't had a chance to talk since that day we fought for the first time! I'm glad you're safe. Somehow we're both still alive. Yes! We've both been so lucky! My heart was pounding and my hands were shaking so badly that I almost shot an arrow into Boyd's backside... What? Oh, okay... <laughs> I'm sorry, but you did not almost... Sh you shot an arrow into your cor the brother of... The corpse of your brother. I'm sorry, I feel like that was a mistake right there, but oh well. You know, you can expect things to be overlooked like that. <laughs> anyway. Gee, good thing you didn't, or I would have been giving you a smacking. Yes, from the grave. I was so scared, I heard yelling, screaming, and the most awful howls of agony. I felt dizzy and sick. I wasn't scared at all. Maybe I was a little nervous, but by the end, I was almost hitting my targets. You weren't even a little scared? No way. I can't wait for the next battle. I'll fight better next time. You'll see. I'll feather a horde of slobbering enemies. See you later, mist. I've got to go practice. Oh, Rolf, Rolf. Indeed, Rolf has done a thing. All right, so soldier Marcia and Lethe. All right, so we'll do some conversations here. Dot, dot, dot. You there, Bjork. What do you think you're doing? I was trying to get back to my room, but I've lost my way. Can you tell me which way I need to go? It's this way. Follow me. Hey, not so close. Walk behind me. What? Er, pardon me. The king has ordered us to treat Bjork with kindness, but it will take some time. It is difficult to fight that instinct. Perhaps the memory of the slavery our forefathers suffered at Bjork's hands flows in our blood. I understand. I'll keep my distance. Very well. Let's go. All right. That was kind of pointless, honestly, but all right. And so we put this guy right here, and this dealy bobber goes there, and we're finished. Packing, huh? Want some help? Do I want some? <laughs> You're a hoot, handsome. I'm already done. You're more skillful at this than I would have imagined. Or is it that Mist is woefully inept? Ah, the Benyon Pegasus Knights were always moving around, so I learned to pack quickly. They used to train us on it all the time. Go here, pack this, fun stuff. Is that so? I can see that you have a strong sense of duty. Quitting the Benyon Pegasus Knights to join us must seem... What are you saying? I'm a burden now? Um, no. I'm very grateful you're here. As I told you before, we're short on personnel. Oh, good then. I'm happy to be here. Um, say Ike. You don't need to worry about me. Quitting the Benyon service. My decision wasn't based solely on my desire to repay you. You know the reasons? Yes. I... I'm also searching for my missing brother. He may be adult and a scoundrel, but he's all the family I have in this world. Remember when you found me? When when we were fighting the pirates? Well, I was trying to track him down. But every time I go looking for him, I end up in some dangerous situation with ugly boat monkeys trying to kill me. Heh. <laughs> so that's why you decided to join us, is it? Join us, is it? I can understand that. So are you sorry, you asked? Not at all. The important thing is finding your brother as quickly as possible, right? That's the plan. But will we find him? That is the question. Dot, dot, dot. You seem depressed. Look at who I'm trapped with! Of course I'm depressed! 
and keep your worthless observations to yourself. All of you are so slow, I can't believe you're still not ready. Sorry about that. If we were like you and didn't need to carry anything, it would be easier. But we have weapons and things to get ready. Weapons of steel are a human weakness. Without them, you cannot fight properly. But, Lethe, you're carrying a dagger, aren't you? In the scabbard on your leg? This is not for fighting. Then what is it, what's it for? I use it to remove small bones from meat. It can also cut fruit into bite-sized pieces. It has proven quite useful. Hmm. What? If you got something to say, spit it out! You despise Bjork, but you don't mind Bjork crafted tools. If something's good, it's good. Denying something as obvious worth out of petty spite is foolish. It's not that I... I do not despise everything, Bjork. If everything Bjork could get along with us as well as you do, I'm certain, Luffy. This is a ridiculous conversation. I'm leaving now. Dot dot dot. Indeed. Alright, so anyway though, I will see you guys when I'm done making my preparations. Ooh, I'm probably gonna level up Rolf a lot. Alrighty everyone, I'm done. I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown of what everyone has. And then I'm gonna go through a quick rundown of everyone's level. Actually, I don't think I even need to do that, but I'll do it anyway. So there we go, this is what happened. I don't remember who I used it. I think I used... Actually, I used three on Rolf. I used one on Mia because she was at 99. And then I used one level up on Mist. So, pretty much, it's like, yeah, we got that going for us there. So, anyway, though, I already saved. I'm gonna end this now, and we're gonna leave the base. So, how about them apples, right? Okie dokie. Oh, the world map, yay! Hello, Ike! What's up? After his father's death places the mantle of leadership on his young shoulders, Ike agrees to continue as Alencia's escort. Good for you, Ike. You did the you did the right thing. All right, Benyon. The company heads now for the Benyon Empire, the oldest and largest nation on the continent of Tellius. As Crimea is a former fiefdom of Benyon, the princess turns to them for succor, much as a sacred child returns to a parent. Many in Tellius believe that without Benyon's might and influence. Crimea's reconstruction will be nigh impossible. However, Benyon and Gallia have no diplomatic ties and are further separated by an impassable mountain range. So the company is forced to return to Crimea, where they hope to locate a ship to carry them to Benyon. Oh come on, that mountain range has got to be passable if you try hard enough. Oh really? We, we just got there that easily? We didn't meet any resistance on our way to a boat? Or maybe not? I don't know, never mind. Anyway, hello, Renolf. Accompanied by Renolf, the warrior who has volunteered to guide them, the company leaves Castle Gallia behind. With heavy hearts and wounded spirits, they begin the long march back to Crimea. I didn't even know Renolf was coming with us. Anyway. Hey, Ike, hold up a moment. You know, I was thinking, since this castle is on the way, we should probably stop by. Um, really? Why? Is there something special about this place? Why, yes, there is. This is, Ca this is Cantius Castle. Dayan seized it early on in the war. Now it serves as a camp for prisoners. I've even heard there are a number of Crimean retainers being held captive in the dungeon beneath the castle. What? Are you certain? Princess, I'm hurt. Of course my information is reliable. If we can rescue some Crimean soldiers, they might decide to join us. That would be quite a boon, would it not? Yes, it would. I think it's worth the risk. Alright, we'll take some risks. Not really. That's probably one of the people that we gotta rescue, I'm sure. But how are we gonna rescue? I don't know. Probably with Ike. More than likely. Is that another one that we gotta rescue? And then that person? Oh my gosh, we're gonna rescue three people. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. The question now is how do you open these cells and free the prisoners? The cells are certain to be locked, so in order to open them... Logic would dictate that the keys will be in possession of the jailer. We've no choice but to steal them. If we're lucky, the guards will have the keys as well. In, in either case, we must move with caution. We don't want to trade blows with the entire castle garrison. Which means we stay close to the walls and avoid being seen or heard, right? Alright then, our first priority is to get our hands on the cell keys. Hey, you there! Oh, hello. I have, I have business with Sir Grail. Where is he? 
You're, so you're sorely lacking in social etiquette, aren't you? State your business. I'll speak with Grail and Sir Grail alone. Now take me to him. What you ask is impossible. Commander Grail is dead. Well, that is a problem. Just who are you anyway? Call me Volk. Sir Grail hired me. I'm in intelligence. My father hired you. You were Sir Grail's son, correct? You'll do. Sir Grail hired me to investigate something. You pay my price, and I'll give you my report. Deal? How much? 50000 That's a bit steep. And worth every penny. I don't have that much. Give me some time. So, you're willing to pay? My father hired you. He must have had a good reason. Are you, are you sure, Commander? We have no way of knowing if he's telling the truth. We'll know when, when we see the contents of that, that report. Until then, let's have him travel with us. So that's your plan, eh? Listen, you get the report when I get paid, and I'm not waiting around until then. I'll keep my information for the time being. Call me when you've got the gold. Stop into any tavern along your way. Tell the barkeep you have you need of a fireman. You'll see me within an hour. Hold a moment. Intelligence. You said you were in intelligence, right? Is information the only thing you sell? Come out with it. What are you asking? Locks. Can you open locks? Sure. 50 gold per lock. You gonna have him open the cell doors? Is that wise? We've only just met him. There's no telling we can if we can trust him. Dot dot dot. Hire, don't hire, seek advice. I guess I'll seek advice? Sure, why not? What do, you, what do the two of you think? Under the circumstances, I think trusting a man about who we know nothing is dangerous. I am opposed to this. If you want to get those cells open, I think risk is going to be inevitable. If we don't have to, if we don't have to steal keys, we can reduce the risk and improve our chances of rescuing the prisoners. That's worth a shot. Dot dot dot. Seek advice. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna hire him. I don't see the reason why not to hire him. Volk, will you help us break into these cells? As long as I get paid, I've got no complaints. Titania, objections? I told you before, didn't I? You're the commander. If you decide on my course of action, I will but follow. Right oh, I'm off. Good luck and all that. What, wait. You're not going to help us here? Much as I would like to, I have a job to do. I will rejoin you when I'm finished. Hmm, I see. Well, good luck to you then. Yes, and to you as well. So, is there any point at all to not hiring him? I'm kind of wondering about that. I don't want to reposition already. I want to uh, I want to choose my units. Where's my, There we go. Choose units. I was already on that screen. I didn't realize it apparently. So I think we definitely want to have Lethe and Mordecai in the group, so I'll take Ileana out. I don't think we need a second mage. I think Soren will do, thank you very much. So we'll put Mordecai in, and hmm. Well, I do say. I do say indeed. So who would be better one to take though? Mordecai or Lethe? Morde I mean, Lethe does have a Bjork guard, which halves all damage. Imagine that when equipped has the damage done by Bjork attacks for use by Lagoos only. I mean, yeah, kind of sucks. Can't trade that to anyone else. I guess maybe I'll have Lethe? I don't really want Marcia out, do I? Yeah, anyway, I think that might be what I want. I don't know. I mean, Mia? Mia. I don't know. On one hand, I'm not really liking Mia that much. She's not, like, super strong or super defensive at the same time. But she has a lot of speed, so I don't know. It's her health that bugs me more than anything. So, yeah. I guess there's that. Alright, so I want to view the map first. Hello, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, thank you very much. Viewing the map because I want to know who's nearby. We got Sephiron. Alright. I know who Sephiron is. I know who Nephany is. I'm familiar with all these characters. And this guy is... Brom. Oh, I remember Brom too. Alrighty then, so I remember all three of these guys. We gotta rescue every single one of them. They're armless, right? Oh wait, this guy too, I didn't even see him. Kiran, he's actually got he's a pretty decent unit here. Hmm. Kinda makes me wonder if I should take some extra equipment along. But no, 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 no. I'm actually short on time here, so I kinda kind of I kinda kind of kind of kind of kind of I have to rush this though. I gotta make sure nothing bad happens. Master Seal Danomil. Ooh. Huh. Master Seal, you don't say. Level 10 or higher to upgrade classes. Well, I don't want to use that right now, do I? Anyway, keep looking. Door keys, door keys. There's really not that many units here, so as long as I avoid getting spotted... How do I avoid getting spotted? This is worrisome here. 
I don't want to get spotted here. And on another hand, though, I want to get these chests, but I have to run into this guy if I'm going to get the chest. So, oh boy. All right. So I think we can do this, right? So this guy is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, can we like do this and not fight? Ah, this is so confusing. I actually don't know how this is going to work. And it's worrisome at the same time. It's like, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, we'll trade Oscar and Titania because why not? We'll put, actually no, we'll put that one right there. That way, I think you'll be able to open the door because you can move seven. So that'll help, and then we'll move Mist over there, Mia right there. We'll move, move in the back line, because why the heck not? And there we go. There we go. I think we're set. Alright! So everyone, are you ready to begin? We're going to see our conditions first of all. Ike dies, escape. That is easy enough. I can just escape without saving any prisoners whatsoever. But you know what? I'm not going to be that evil now. That would just be absolutely awful. So I'm just going to assume use the wall for protection, right? Alright, so we're going to be doing a stealth mission here, again. Maybe this time we'll actually be good at it, or something, I don't know. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Player phase. Yeah, sure, just transform straight away, why not? Watch the doors tutorial. Yeah, why not? Let me tell you about doors now. What? You know about doors? Not these doors, buddy, just listen. I'm listening. As you play the game, you'll find rooms sealed behind closed doors like this one. So you just get a thief or someone with a door key and then you do a thing. If your unit has a door key and a spade inventory, you can open it right up. No key? Let a thief do it. Thieves can pick at the lock and open the door just like that. However, thieves will sometimes charge you for their services. So use a, use a key if you can. Yeah, if I can. Alrighty then, let's try opening a door with a key carrying unit. First, you have to move the unit next to the door. Yeah, I know, basic, right? Extremely basic. If the unit has a key, the door command will appear in the unit menu. Let's select it and see what happens. It will open! Oh my gosh! Voila! The door Zayop have opened! You can also choose the key right out of your item menu if you so desire. And that concludes the... Whoops! I forgot something. Oh, don't roll your eyes. This is really cool. You can attack doors and break them down. See? I told you it was cool. So if you don't have a key or a thief hand, you just walk up to the door and smash it. I heard I hear that axe worked really well, but um, I don't have any personal knowledge or anything. Anyway, this really concludes the door tutorial. See you later. Would you like to see it again? Nope. But wouldn't that be like the loud way out? Like, wouldn't I have to be stealthy and not attack a door? I don't know. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go ahead and save this guy right now. Door opened up. Charge me that 50 gold, man. You do it. Alright, so Sephiron's gonna be saved. He's just A-OK, -okay, I gotta say. I'm gonna move Oscar over there. I like I said, we're gonna try our best to be stealthy here. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be, but we'll try. We'll try our best. Like I said. You know, that spear would be sticking out. He would see you, you know. Oh well. What do I know? Okay, either way, it's the same spot. Mia, you move over here. And... I'm going to really just try my best to keep this as stealthy as possible. I might take on the general at the end there. But that's probably going to get me spotted. I don't know what that's exactly going to do for the board, really. But, oh well. We'll see what happens. Rise, you move over there. Hmm. I don't need to give anyone a ward right now, but eh, whatever. Actually, no, she's transformed. That's why she got a boost. I'm like, why does she have a boost right now? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Is it... I just realized it's at the, like the it needs to be at the medium zoom level. Why is it zooming in again? This does it every fight, I guess. Why not? Sure. Shove. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. I just <laughs> there we go. I shoved you. What? Did that just give me away, or did they already know? L look out! We're under attack. Commander, Commander Denomil, the castle defense has been breached. What are your orders, sir? What fortunate timing! We were starting to run low on prisoners. Do try to capture them alive. I won't have you robbing me of my fun. As you command, sir. So, really? I just didn't... I really just didn't even have a chance to... Oh, no. Oh, boy. We've, how did we get spotted? I don't get it. We've been spotted. There's nothing left to do but fight. What was I supposed to do right there? I hid behind walls where... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Can I get a redo? <laughs> Seriously? 
I just like, I didn't even know. I was just like, oh, if we sneak around, they won't see us. That it'll just be easy, right? No, not at all. I completely underestimated this, I guess. Hmm. So I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking here. I might have, oh, I really don't even know, honestly. I might have Titania take on the main force on the back line. And then I might have someone else take on everyone else. Oh, freaking no! This is horrible. And... Okay. I thought that was it. I honestly thought that was it. I don't... Is she... Okay, no, she's not dead. Oh, boy. I swear, this is... This is not... This is too scary here. I didn't like... I don't want to die right now. It's too early for it to happen. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, tell me something, will ya? What's going to happen to us? Those damn soldiers took my friends away and they didn't co never come back. What'd they do to them? Oh, something bad happened. I just know it. Quiet, fool. Keep your cowardly mutterings to yourself. Matters not what vile torture they devise. A true knight of Crimea is bold, steadfast, and strong. I care not if they pull out my nails with tongs or insert pins into the soft flesh of my underbelly or yank. Stop it. I can't bear torture. I'm not a professional soldier. I'm just part of the militia. I can't believe I left my family behind for this. Will I ever see them again? Oh, I want to go home. Curses, if only I had a weapon of some sort. Help will come. I will not give up. Says you. I know you will give up. It's only inevitable that you give up. Oh, no. All right, so that's really honestly sucked so this is what we're gonna do i think i think i will go with that strategy i think i'll have titania take the take on the main force here that might be a plan it might not be i don't know i gotta have at least two people blocking them off here so that might be what i do so titania you will take him out with an iron lance and you will be happy about it oh yeah Oh, yay, he missed. I'm not surprised because Sanya's just so good at what she does. It broke. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Anyway, hmm. What next? Can I talk to this guy with Volky? You know, I can't. Or Volk, I should say. Whatever. Ike. Talk. Hmm. Do I or do I not? I have moves to make still, so I don't really know yet. I still gotta make Oscar do a thing. Oh, come on. Really? Freaking Mia, you were just so bad, I swear, man. Alright, fine, just, uh... I'm gonna do something. Probably this. This might, no. Wait, can I get Oscar to kill it? If I can get Oscar to kill it, this might actually work out in my favor here. Oscar, can you do it, man? Uh, yeah. He can do it, because he's already injured. So, hopefully we don't miss. If not, I'm gonna have to get Soren to kill him. I don't want to do that. If I can help it anyway. There we go. We did it. Soren doesn't have to get used on that guy. No, sir. All right, Oscar, you do your thing. We got no mages here, so we are A-OK. -okay. Titania and Oscar got the blockade set up. Hmm. All right, then. So that Steel Lance, Iron Bow. Yeah, we got to get him away from the Iron Bow here. So we don't want to just put him over on the wall or whatever. Actually, it makes me wonder. Wait, does the wall actually block him? Oh, it does. I, I don't know why. I keep thinking they could attack through the wall or something like that. Honestly, I mean, it's like two spaces away. I would think it would work. Actually, wait a second. Did I not... I didn't bring Rolf with me. Hmm. Yep. Actually, you know, I don't even know why I didn't bring Rolf with me. Why did I not bring Rolf with me? I, I leveled him up and didn't even bring him with me. Well, I gotta say oops to that one right there. Oh, well. So anyway, Mia, can you kill this guy? Can you please actually do a thing that is useful for me? No, you can't. My goodness, I, I should have brought Rolf. Mia's just pointless. I knew I should have not included her. Oh, no. All right, so Soren, I think you will be able to kill him, right? Of course, because you're Mr. Reliable. Wait, why are these guys injured already? Did I miss something? Oh, Titania, duh. Okay. I'm like, why was this guy injured again? I don't even remember why. So we'll use wind. I think wind will work. It'll just be fine. And then Soren will be like, Oh, I summoned magic to aid me. You know, I don't understand how magic works. It's like you just have a book, and then it's just suddenly magic comes out of the book. 
That's just how it works, apparently. You got a door key! Woohoo! Hmm. So who's gonna kill this guy then? Lethe? I think Lethe's gonna kill him. You do that, Lethe. Uh, yep, that'll work! Indeed! I think I made a good decision for once in my life! Hooray! He almost ran into the wall trying to attack him, you know? Jeez, didn't you see how close? That was so, so close. And he's dead. So now we gotta figure out how to protect both Mist and Rise here. So I'm thinking, hmm. I think we're gonna... I'm gonna get their, their targets up here because I need to know where their, their areas are. I also need to know where their areas are so I don't make any mistakes. I don't think I will because they don't have any longbows with them, so we're fine. So we will move Ike over there. Talk. You there. We've come to rescue you. Ah. You're not a soldier, are you? Your clothing gives you away. I am a pilgrim. My name is Sephiron. You're a monk? Why would they imprison you? I was arrested in a nearby village where I was tending to wounded Crimean knights. I received no trial, but have nevertheless been kept prisoner in this place ever since. I see, that explains it. We've come here to liberate the prisoners of war. You should take this opportunity to escape. You will set me free. That is most gracious of you. If you've no objection, I would ask your name. I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Please, the cell door is open. You should leave while you can. Thank you. Perhaps we will meet again, Ike. Perhaps so, perhaps not. I don't know. What if I just shoved him randomly? I'm sure he would appreciate that, right? Shove! He has 42... What the... Pff. Yeah, totally. You're just a monk. You just, you're just you not a war person at all. He's got Lumina, allows Wielder to use light magic. The, the level up here is next to the staff. Oh, I see. So he can use both staves and light magic, even though it doesn't say anything about light magic, because Lumina greatly decreases the damage done by most attacks. How does that work? Anyway, whatever. This guy is just not even going to die at all. It just won't happen. So, what are his stats? I never even looked. He's got a knife. That's not very good. Alright. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put... No, no, no. Think. Think me. Think. I'll put him over there. Mia will go over here. And then... Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have Rise heal Mist. That'll work. And then we'll move Mist to the right of Rise. And then Mist will heal Rise. So there we go. That won't be fatal in the slightest. Whew, thank goodness. Also, I apparently gave Mist a men staff that she can't even use yet. Give it to use it eventually. Like maybe right now even. Maybe that's <laughs> I don't freaking know. Is it maybe it's a D rank and I just leveled up to D rank and I, now I can use men's staff. Like, geez, that's convenient timing, I guess. Yippee! Oh no, he's attacking Oscar. He's gonna do no damage to because physical attacks are I mean he's got physical defense, so of course, nope. Not gonna happen. This guy might hurt, though. Just a little bit. He'll probably hurt, I don't know, four damage? Eh, no. Okay, zero damage. My bad. I just ended up missing and doing zero. I guess I should have predicted that and said that. He's, oh, I'm, he's gonna miss. That's just how it's gonna have to happen, man. And, well, we already know what this is gonna do. This is gonna do nothing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not only a disadvantage, but also lower accuracy because, woo. Pro even if he did hit, I'm, I'm willing to guess. Probably would have done zero damage. That's just what I'm gonna guess. Don't know. That's a guess. Alright, so, Sephiron, you wanna, like, distract them or something? You wanna just run out in front of them? No? Fine. Do your thing. What do I care, man? Ike? Uh, oh, really? That guy's fast and... He's got 15 speed, though. He's got 12. Ugh, I probably have to use a regal sword, don't I? If I wanna kill him in two hits? No? Hmm. So this guy's faster than I gave him credit for then. Alrighty then. That's fair enough. How about I do this? She's fine. She's got 13 left. I'll attack a knight. Is that a good idea? It is a good idea. I will attack this knight with Lethe. And then we'll just see what happens from there. Actually, wait a second. I didn't even pay attention. How much experience did she get from that first fight? I mean, yeah. She'll, she'll, she'll survive easily. I mean, she's not, not to take lightly at all. And we get how much experience? We get... Ooh, okay. That's not too bad, I guess. It could be worse. It could be like Titania, where she's getting like three experience points or something like that. So I'm going to attack... Wait. Hmm. Will that kill? No, it won't. Actually, unless I use Steel Lance. And that will! Hmm. 
I will try this. I will try this, actually. The Bowman isn't a threat, so it doesn't matter what happens to him. So if I miss, big deal. I can just kill him with the Tanya or something like that. And he's dead. So I'll kill the Bowman with the Tanya, and then we'll move back into position. We'll make them rejoin the party, I guess I could say. Tanya's not gonna miss, seriously. If she missed, that'd just be like... Nope. Bad idea. Bad luck, indeed. And that was a freaking good level up. About time. I would've liked resistance, but you know what? I'll take whatever I can get as long as it works out. I will move one space just to be on the safe side. I'm pretty sure she'll hit. I'd be absolutely surprised if she didn't hit. I mean, seriously. She's like, oh, look at me. I'm not gonna hit now. I'm just telling you. I'm just gonna do the thing. Why am, I, why am I speaking that voice? I don't even know anymore. I like to just break off in the random voice. Sometimes I'll break off in the random song. Right now, I'm probably not going to do that because it's so late that I really don't think singing is a very good idea right now, but I will probably not break out in a song today. This is probably not going to be one of those episodes, unfortunately. Sorry to say that. I know you were looking forward to random singing, but it's not going to happen today. 19 and 12. Hmm. Who do I give it to? I guess I will give it to... No, actually, I will give him a ward. Or will I? Actually, I don't even know. Nah, I'll just give him a freaking ward. Why not? <laughs> I'll just break off my plane because I feel like it. And then Mist will heal him. Yeah, we'll get a two-for-one special here. We'll get a heal and a ward in the same turn. Because that's good. Very good. Alright, so I... You know, I might as well just attack with him. I really don't see why not. I guess. Why not? Really, really. Just That's the question of the day. Why not? Why not? Why not? Ugh. Seriously, you hit him? You're supposed to miss, man. I don't even know what your accuracy was, but you're still supposed to miss. That's just the rules, man. Alright, so... What if I put me on this guy? Will that actually do a thing? Eh. Eh. Come on, Mia. You can do better than that. Alright, how about you? Can you hurt him? Can you do a thing? Is it her? Isn't she like... Oh, she actually is really fast. Didn't I complain already? No, I complained because of Ike, because he's got also 15 speed. Freaking Ike, I swear, man. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him over there, see what he's going to do to both of these guys. 11? 12? 11. Hmm. I see. So I think what I'm going to try is maybe go for this guy? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. What about this guy, though? This guy scares me, though. Oh, jeez. Alright, so, Armor Slayer, 9 damage. That's it. You don't say. Just 9 damage. Okie dokie, then. I think... Yeah, I think this will actually work out, though. So, I will do that. Wait, so, 11? I'd bring him down to 10, and then he would do... What would he do? He would do... Yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'll put the Armor Slayer on this guy... I'll get ready for a p possible counterattack because I don't freaking know. Am I making the right decision here? I feel like I need to play defensive here, and I feel like I'm making a great mistake if I don't play defensive here. So, thunder? No. Fire? No. Alright, fine. Just. I guess I'll use the L Wind. Maybe that'll do a thing. Or not. It is heavier. Heck with it. I'll put freaking wind on. He has no strength. I need more dodging capabilities. Wind! And, nope, didn't happen. A freaking Soren, I swear, he just, critical hits. I swear, even though he's like 5%, 5%, 5%, I don't think I've ever seen my mages get this many critical hits before. It's like this early into the game. Maybe later in the game, but not this early. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Alright, so we have, what, two units left? Just these two? Alright, so what do I do? Uh oh You know, I just thought about something here. What, wait, steel, steel what? What, the iron sword? Do I steal an iron sword from him? Just... Oh, okay. No, I have nothing to steal. Oh, I see. Hmm. Now this kind of makes sense. So that's how I use these guys. And then I'll put that guy out of his misery? I really don't know, honestly. I'm just thinking, like, what can I do? That's not something I can do. Is this something I can do? Yes, it is something... You can attack twice? Really? Alright. I swear, Mia, if you miss, I will miss. That's what I'll be like. I'll just be mad. And uh, thank you. Thank you for not missing. Alrighty then. I don't have to panic now. Uh, every time I'm given, like, 
any percentage chance to miss, I go into panic mode because it's just like, I don't want to miss, man. Don't make it happen. It's just bad when it happens. Defense, 7. Attack power, 15. So that would be 8. And then whatever he does. So 8 and 8 would be 16. That'd be 25 and 24. What's his biorhythm? Biorhythm is medium. It's going downward. These guys are going downward, and he's at his top. Hmm. You know, honestly, I'm. this is what I'm thinking here. I think I will make him stand still here. Just don't even attack him. Don't even accumulate extra unnecessary damage right there, and then we'll do that. I don't even know. That's, that's my call to make. I'm surprised he didn't try to attack Volk, but instead just goes for her, even though he would have done more damage to Volk. Oh, wait, wait. Come to think of it, wouldn't he... No, maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. I was thinking maybe he had a skill that would make enemies attack other people, but maybe that's not the case because he didn't do that. I thought he would have done that. Can he? Can Volk use swords? I'm actually kind of curious about that. I'm gonna look at that real quick. Volk can use swords? No, just knives. Hmm. Darn it! I was hoping he had more than that. But okay then, that's fine. As long as more soldiers don't pop up randomly, I think we're a okay right now. So, Ike needs to get healed right about now. I'm gonna heal you, Ike! Brother! I'm not gonna use the voice right now because she's not actually talking. I'm just saying things in her place. Because that's what I do sometimes. Oh, yes! I did it! I made a thing happen called javelins. Ooh. Oh, boy. Can it be? Will this soldier die? Was it actually even a good idea to use Oscar in a situation? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, because now, what's his face? Can't even attack. Sorry, I'm sorry, I just kind of blocked you out a little bit. But then again, I could use her. I don't know. Mia? Can you do a thing now? Can you? No? Fine. It's fine, man. Just don't even do it. What do I care? Eight? Freaking, she just can't even kill anyone, it's just so annoying. Like, I just want to kill someone with her. Alright, fine. I'll do this, because why not? We'll just run around and attack, and then the, that guy will be dead. And then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Soren because obviously, like I said, I want to make him as overpowered as possible. So I figure if I can do that, then he'll get a lot of experience points, and then maybe he'll level up. Yes, actually, he might level up. This might be the time. All right. Yeah, yep, he's going to level up. Or I shouldn't say he's going to level up. He's going to get a kill, which will likely make him level up. Am I jinxing myself? I'm probably jinxing myself, aren't I? He used the depth. Again, pointlessly. Every time his adept skill has gone off, it's been absolutely pointless because adept just makes you attack twice. And there's been no- Oh, I jinxed it. 99 experience points. Please! Give me a break, man. Alright, who to heal? No one? Alright, fine. No one's gonna get healed today. But, I guess I could give a ward on someone. 5 and 12 for I could've just given this to her. Why didn't I do that? I'm so dumb. I could have just done this and then made her attack first, and then and then I could have sent Soren after her. I mean, it, ah, or uh, Lethe, I should say. Whatever I'm saying, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, so to I gotta keep Tatani near the main group because I don't know when people are just gonna randomly appear and whatnot. Oh, that's not a door. That's actually a walkway. It's just concealed really well, actually. I might say. So Mia, you move up there. You just we're just gonna have everyone move slowly. I want people to move. I should have actually had someone right near Volk just in case enemies appear. I don't know if they will, actually. Boy, I really wish I didn't script the whole stealth portion of this mission again. I don't even know what I did wrong that time. I actually tried to be stealthy, but still screwed up somehow. Oh well. It happened. So, Ike? I guess you're gonna just go off and talk to some people then. You do your thing. Everyone else will handle their own thing as well. And then we'll be glad that they handled their own thing. So, missed anyone? Anybody? I mean, there was Lethe, but I kind of just missed my chance to do that, didn't I? Oh, well. Oopsie. Did it again. Uh, well, I mean... Mm, why did I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Oh, well. Okay, who can I ward here? I can give... Well, actually, he's already got a ward, doesn't he? I, yep, he does. Yep, I don't, okay, I don't need a ward. Anybody, really, I guess. I guess I'll ward missed. Why not? Here you go, Mist. Here's the ward for you. I'm assuming wards don't stack. Like, if I use another ward on Oscar, he wouldn't, like, have plus 7 on top of his plus 5, would he? I don't know, like 12? 
That's what I'm trying to say, obviously. You know, I could technically just break these doors down now. What am I doing? I'm just wasting time, right? I'm breaking a door down. That's that's it. I'm doing this. I don't even care anymore. Ah! Uh, oh yeah, look at that 30 damage. Now that's what I'm talking about, man. They're gonna block my escape route. Not surprised, right there. Uh, any range units? Steel lance. Steel lance. Steel lance. Javelin, but not far enough to get me. That guy's not far enough to get me either. Apparently, that's surprising. He's got a really low range, though. All right, gonna do this. Gonna attack it just because I can with an iron sword. And 13 damage. Yippee, we did it. And Oscar's gonna finish it off because what? No, oh yeah, he can finish it off. I was like, no, he can't hit it from that far. Even though it's a javelin and it makes sense if he could do it. But he can't, but he actually can. I was just wrong and mistaken for some reason. I don't know why I like being mistaken sometimes. Oh my gosh. My throat's feeling really sore right now. This is the second episode in a row I've recorded after an hour and a half episode, last episode pretty much. Though I did cut out the preparation, so I guess it was more like an hour and an hour to hour and ten minutes worth of talking, so eh, it wasn't that bad, but at the same time it was it was a lot of talking, so it's like now my throat's getting sore. Oh no. And I forgot to drink water between episodes, so I don't know. You know what? Actually, I, I mean, I'm going to drink some water right now just because, you know, I'm just going to be completely unprofessional about this. Like I'm ever professional. Who cares? Seriously. Okay, water time. Ah, now that... Yes, I just burped from drinking water. It wasn't soda. I, you can trust me on that. I don't drink that much soda, honestly. Maybe every now and then, but I don't drink that much. Anyway. You're a crime and soldier, right? Come on, I'm here to rescue you. Seriously? I'm not dreaming again, am I? I'm a mercenary in the in employ of Princess Alencia. I'll give you all the details later. For now, we have to move. What? The princess? Oh, happy day. Wait, let me stretch a bit. Ooh, sorry, I'm stiff from this hard floor. Ow, 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 ow. Cramp, cramp. Oh, for the love of... Come this way. All right, all right. Or, or all, all right. Hold on a second, I don't remember the king having any children. There's no time to explain. Hurry up! Oh, uh, coming! Alrighty then. Oh, really? Oh, no. Okay, then, you just do your thing, then. I will talk to the other guy next. Okie dokie, then, fine. Freaking Soren, don't get out of my way, man. What are you doing? He's like, I'm gonna get in your way for no reason. That's just, that's alright, right? Sure it is. Do I give it to Mist or do I give it to Rise? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I really need to give some love to Mist every now and then. It's like, Rise can do some things, but at the same time, Mist needs some experience too. I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to ignore you, Mist. You're a healer too. I mean, sometimes having two healers is a good thing. What happens if Rise dies and suddenly I'm without a valuable healer? I mean, I'm going to use another ward. I don't even freaking care at this point. I'm just going to get some experience points off this. Rise needs more. Alright, what are we going to do? I guess I'm going to open up the other block next or something. I can handle himself in case enemies just spawn randomly. I will probably actually keep Lethe here just in case something appears. I don't know if something will appear, but if it does, I will be ready for it. That's pretty much all there is to it, really. Oscar, you're going to break that door before Volt comes over. Actually, no, you're not. You're probably not going to be able to do that. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. You. No. No. Why is she so bad? Why can't she hurt anything? Why didn't I bring Rolf? Oh, this is so painful. Seriously, I really wish I brought Rolf here. That would have been made this so much easier to be like, "Yay, Rolf is here! Now he can do stuff." He actually gained quite a good chunk of it, like ability off of those level ups I gave him too. Three level ups, and someone told me to use the speed, the speed thing on the next archer I get. And since he was the next archer I got. I used the speed wing on him like I was told to do, so I figured, you know, I might as well do that, and I did that. And, well, I completely forget to bring him, so yeah, that figures, right? Just typical me stuff and whatnot. Those knights aren't even moving, I see how it is. Ah, she untransformed, shoot, alright. Fine. Fine, fine, just... What, wait, who do I... Wait, who do I get to talk to him? Oh, no. I don't know who talks to him. Oscar? I mean, they do wear the same type of armor. Maybe Titania talks to him? I mean, I don't freaking know. 
There's no doors over there, so I'm not gonna worry about freaking Soren getting hurt. Actually, no, just I'm just gonna send freaking Volk over there. I don't even care anymore. Volk, you're going over there. You're gonna beat Soren over there anyway, so it doesn't even matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he'll beat him over there. Doesn't even matter. All right, so Titania, you just can can someone talk to her? I mean, is it Ike? Can anyone talk to her besides Ike? I'm surprised Ike can't even talk to that guy. I figured it would work, but it doesn't. Alright, so I'll just have Ike stand guard here, because why not? You, run up here, why not? It's because you're just gonna... You're gonna get injured or something, because you're gonna be a meat shield for me. Congratulations on being a proper meat shield for everyone. Hmm. Alright, so how about... I just use it on her, why not? More magic resistance. Yeah, like the Lagoos aren't powerful enough as they are. Level up! And... Uh, oh! <laughs> that... You know, I actually found that the luck is not as bad as I originally gave it credit for. Apparently... It, it just says affects many different things. Luck apparently affects hit accuracy, avoidance, I guess critical hits too, and... It actually affects something else, but I forgot what that something else was. But it does affect something else, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, wait, I didn't even know he was injured. I forgot he was injured. Alright, we're gonna heal you then. Alright, miss, you get some experience points. Congratulations! Woo! And that's it. So, to Tanya, I guess I'll just let you... I don't even know. I want her to keep fighting things, but at the same time, I feel like I'm just hogging it from everyone else, right? Right? I'm hogging it, right? Uh, fine, I'm gonna keep hogging it. Oh! That guy's tough. Is he a general? No, he's a knight. He has 15 defense, so. That one is 14. Okie dokie, then. Well, either way, though, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, as long as, unless a critical hit happens, I mean, that could always happen, too, but I don't want a critical hit to happen. I want someone else to maybe potentially come in for the killing blow. I don't know if that will happen, though. It's a hopeful thing. I mean, I can always hope, right? I like to hope every now and then. And usually my hopes always get squashed. Oh no, it happened. I think I'd actually feel more comfortable with soaring up top if you believe me. I don't know, maybe you believe me, maybe you don't. Alright, so who's gonna talk to this freaking Kieran guy? I don't I don't even know, I'm just gonna assume Oscar. Oscar, can you do it? Can you talk to this guy? Please tell me you can talk to this guy, I don't even know. And open the door, get the treasure. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff here right now. Yeah, because I totally want to break it. Would he still charge me money if I broke the door? That's what I want to know. <laughs> that would be interesting. So, can Titania kill this guy then? I'm gonna just assume so if I use... no? No. Huh, interesting. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, she won't be able to get back. Hmm. I would actually like to send Soren out of that guy, but at the same time, it's like, is that worth the risk? I don't know. I don't know. Come to think of it, it might not be, because he actually does damage. But... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, but, but, but these guys. Oh, no you don't. But then again. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know, actually. This is a tough decision to make. I think what I'm gonna do... Can these guys even move that far? Yeah, they can, actually. So if this guy wants to go attack Soren, I'm gonna let him attack Soren. So, big deal. We're gonna let Titania just attack this guy and... Hmm, 11 damage, 10 damage. Oh, by the way, get a segment this episode. Oh, boy, that was a close call, everyone. Almost missed that one. I was like, oh, boy, I better keep an eye on the clock, and I almost didn't. And, and then... Well, then I just realized, oh, boy. I might have been a minute late, but usually, I think I might be able to go at least a minute over an hour or something like that. And then that'll work. Don't forget, you might not be seeing an hour yourself, but it is an hour. Just trust me on that. When I say it's an hour, it's definitely an hour. So, alright, Soren, you're just gonna, you're gonna get hit or what? I don't know. I'm gonna equip this win just in case, so just so he has a lower hit chance and whatnot. Hmm. Nephni is gonna just sit there, I guess. Can you? I didn't. I figured as much. All right. So what? Oh, he already moved. Forgot about that. Anyone? Anyone healing? Healing? No. Fine. Don't get healed. No one needs healing anymore. I just see how it is. Plus three. What if I give you a ward? I'm just gonna just waste my war on everyone. <laughs> 
Why not? It doesn't even matter anymore, does it? 21. Ike, you just keep standing there. Actually, yeah, you move a little one space over because why not? And those are the only two left to move and ending turn. Do your thing, nobody. Yeah, so those guys would have moved. So that was actually a good idea not to put Sora in there. Whew! That was a close call, everyone. Didn't know if that guy was going to strike or not, but it's a good thing I decided to be a little cautious with it. Sometimes you got to be a little cautious in life, otherwise you're just going to pay the ultimate price. You don't want to pay the ultimate price now. Why did they say it like that? Maybe I just wanted to change things up a little bit. This might actually be one of the shorter chapters, honestly. Well, until you factor in, then I have to open up a million treasure chests, and then it gets a little longer. I swear, Titania's getting a lot of really good level ups in this game. She might actually end up being one of the best units in the game, just because of how lucky I've been getting with all her level ups so far. Look who's come to play! I am so very happy to see you! Now then, are you ready to become my prisoners and live a life of eternal bliss with my, within my lovely dungeon? Maybe? Oh shoot, he uses swords! No kidding. Well, too bad he missed! He still sucks because he has no skill or speed or... I mean, I have too much speed, I should say. It has to be Oscar. Come on, really? I have to move one more space. I was so close. I can rescue him. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna... Mm, I really don't want to make that assumption, though. I still want to be in range just in case something goes wrong. I want to be sure everyone is out of range. You got a statue frag. What does that do? A magic item that increases the user's build. Why? Okay. This is one I'm going to need your help with, everyone. Who do I use that for? I really would like to know, actually, because this is this is going to confuse the heck out of me, I gotta say. Speed. Yeah, they're, they're not fast enough. I don't know what I'm even thinking. Why well, are you checking that? I don't need to check that. So, if I use... It doesn't matter what I use, actually. L, L Wind and Thunder both do the same damage. Hmm, fine. I will use Wind. Or no. Hmm. That's not a good idea. That is not a good idea, actually. I could just do this. Forget about it. But that guy has a short spear. I don't want to risk him attacking. I swear, I'm too cautious, everyone. I'm way too cautious. Alright. Alright, this is what... Actually, wait a second. Here's a plan. What if I move him a little bit closer? I just bait him into it or something like that. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is so risky. Alright, Steel Lance... That will not kill. Alright, fine. We can take it. Bring it on, Danamil. I'll kill you with Titania. My most valuable unit. I swear, she is my most valuable unit. I swear, this is ridiculous. You'll not escape. I will see all of you dead. You will be executed. Executed? Why don't you just kill me? Why even make me a prisoner if you're just going to execute me anyway? I swear. I don't even know. Alright, so that was good. I swear, bosses always give people good experience, even if they're, like, valuable units that don't get that much. So the Master Seal, yeah. That's a good item to have, I guess. Oh, I have a plan. I'll just put them in front- ooh. You know what? I'm just thinking things here. Maybe that wasn't a good idea still. I don't even know anymore. Whatever. You do a thing, just move closer. Whatever. Do it. You, move closer. Don't care. You, move closer. Staff, ward, on someone. Just no, never mind. We'll save that. I don't want to. I don't want to completely waste my ward staff, do I? No, I don't. This is the only one left to move. I'm just gonna move her there for no reason. And now we're gonna finish the chapter off. All right, come on. Let's freaking hurry this up. Oh, really? They just don't move. They're really. They're just willing to kill themselves over this. I mean, seriously, what is he defending? He's defending nothing. It's like, though, that guy has full freedom to move. He should have full freedom to move, and he doesn't move. How incredibly foolish. And once again, Titania's just stealing all the experience points because, oh, yay. Yay, 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 yay. Good job, you did it. Now just let Sorn get maybe one kill, please, like the last guy. Can he at least kill the last guy? That'd be great. I would love it if you did that. All right, fine. Whatever, man. See if I care. Wait, can I command everyone to escape, maybe? I wonder. I might actually try to do that. I'll be like, escape! Escape, man, escape! 
You know, I just realized, they he did not turn yellow like everyone else did. I just has to work. Yeah, it does. Okay. You're from Crimea, right? Come on, we're here to rescue you. We opened your cell. Now's the time to escape. Ah, it's you. Pardon? I could never forget that squint. Knights of Crimea, 12th Re Regiment. Your name is Oscar. And you're... Wait a moment, you're Kieran, right? That is correct, I am Kieran. The same Kieran who has sworn himself to be your eternal rival. Uh, right. Kieran, so, how you been? You look good. As always, your manner is listless and inappropriate. It befits one who would call me foe. You were discharged three years ago. What are you doing here now? Aha! Could it be? You dastard. You've turned your coat and gone over to Dan, haven't you? Arr, what despicable, contemptible behavior. Unforgivable! Have you no shame? You were my one true rival. Where is your pride gone? The mercenary company I'm attached to, attached to serves under the command of the Princess of Crimea. We came here to free any Crimean prisoners. The Princess of Crimea? You're not part of the Royal Guard. How do you know about the Princess? Well, I, like I said, the Princess is our employer and... Aha! So that's your scheme, is it? You have to distinguish yourself by meritorious mer service and gain the glory that is rightfully mine. Admit it. Look, my duty is... Blast you! Curse your name! Curse the name of Oscar and all who call him kin! I will never let you surpass me! Princess, I'm coming! Kieran will be forever at your side! Whoa, he's even more ex excitable than I remember. Hard to believe he's actually a decent knight. I guess, anyway. Wait, could I not move after that, or did I just screw up? I might have screwed up, anyway. Okie dokie, Ike! Time to get one more on our side here. Direct orders. Uh, I say target this area. Move out for the target area. Yeah, because they, they totally heard that. Anyway, though. Volk, you just keep moving on. We're just gonna let you do your thing. I feel like I'm starting to get into a trap where everyone is, where I'm starting to get powerful units that I'm training up here. Oh, sweet, he actually survived with one HP. I didn't even realize that. How very convenient, though. Thank you. So that'll be nine damage, but he's not. Actually, will he? I don't think he has an ability. Uh, you should always check the abilities of your enemies. You never know when they might have something decent. They could have something decent. They might not have something decent. What do I know? But anyway, though. He's dead. Game over. Soren's gonna get some experience points. And he's actually gonna level up this time. No doubt about it. No jinxes this time. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Level up. And what do we got? Wait, can we actually get some defense today? Yeah. Nice. I would have liked some skill, speed, and luck too. But, you know, you can't always have a perfect level up here. You might want it, but you're not gonna get it. Good luck with that. Rise? No. Rise is not... I already tried it with him, actually. He was not even, even possible to do it. Is there any enemies left? Where, where do I... Shoot. How do I do this? Unit? No. Guide? No. Options? No. And suspend... Uh, how do I... Oh, that's how I check. Okay, I see. So, are they gonna stop spawning? I, I assume they'll stop spawning. I'm really worried about, like, just sending them out there, I guess. But maybe I shouldn't be worried. Alright, Mist, you do your thing. I think I'll have the powerful units flee last, and I think that'll be what we do. Alright, anyone injured? She's injured. Soren's injured. Alright, so I think we got our plan of attack here. We'll have Mist and Rise just do a thing with them, and then we'll do that. That'll be game over, right? You are about to- you're actually pretty close to transforming again, so I will also keep you among the powerful units. And that's just- yeah, that's it. Alright, end turn. Partner phase. I. Do I have to wait for them to escape? I kind of wonder about that, actually. I'll try to see if I can let them escape. Maybe it doesn't matter, maybe it does, I don't know. Alrighty then, moving on. Going up there, can't talk to Brom with good old Oscar, no siree. What about you? Yes, I can talk to you, sweet. You're a crimean soldier, right? I've opened your cell, let's get out of here. Who are you? I'm Ike, I'm with a mercenary company hired by Princess Crimea. I can fill you in on the details later. For the time being, you'll just have to trust me. Very well. That was pretty easy. Alrighty then. No problemo! Actually, I should keep some people out just for the sake of gathering treasure items. Like, I really don't know whose build I should increase, so... I don't know, like I said, let me know about that, because I really don't know who to use that on. 
So we'll heal Soren, and then we'll heal Titania with Rise, and then that'll be that. Alright, she's about to level up. That's a good thing, of course, obviously. Why wouldn't that be a good thing? That'd be silly if that wasn't a good thing. So you. Actually, how far is he from leveling up? I actually don't even remember. He is... Eh. Okay, so he just leveled up recently. That is fine. So, everyone's just in this area. Alright, end turn. We'll get Volk over there, and he'll do his thing. Everyone's going to run over to the exit now. Yeah, do it. I hope they escape. They better not clog up my exit strategy. They might. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Yay, transformations! Alright, so we run Ike over there now. Obviously, we gotta make him escape last, because we want to see what everyone has to say first, obviously, right? Wait. And wait. And more waiting. And I think that's just it. That's everyone. Alright, we're gonna wait some more. Actually, we should keep... Nah. One of them can run over to Volk. We don't need to keep him that close by, right? Slow moving knight. Fast moving horse rider. He's an axe knight. He is a lance knight. Interesting. You don't say. That must be why he's not that fast. I mean, he's kind of fast, but he's not really as fast as I feel like he should be. For a horse rider, anyway. So, right. Anyway. Actually, wait a second. I could have to... No. It's best if I save those chest keys for... Situations where I don't have a guy like this, right? Anyway, what is this? A javelin. That's not that great. Alright, fair enough. Who could use that, though? Oscar? Oscar, I think you could use that. Hmm. Actually, ah, whatever. Forget about it. Anyway, ending turn. And we'll just... Can you escape? Turning my back on the enemy is against my knightly vows, but the princess's safety comes first. So they can't escape. Good. Thank you. Here I go. And one more to escape, but we gotta wait probably two more turns for him. That kind of figures. Oh well, we're not escaping that quickly anyway. So you can carry one more thing, I believe. Short axe. So we need someone to get this. Who's gonna get that though? Just, I guess, I guess she's gonna get it. Tanya, you're gonna get a short axe. Congratulations, you've done it. Eh, uh, short axe, what does that do? That, that's a ranged weapon, right? An axe special, of especially light construction. It can be thrown at distant enemies. Interesting. I like that. So we'll have him wait, and then... Someone else is... Wait. Oh, that was a weapon, not a... Oh, duh. Okay, whatever. Still, though, someone has to carry that eventually, right? So we'll keep them around just a little bit longer. Two more turns, and then we're done. Because we want Braum to escape first. Come on, Braum. Escape faster. Your heavy armor can't be weighing you down that much, man. And this is a Steel Lance. Eh, whatever. Not that great, I guess. He's getting weapons, though. A lot of weapons he doesn't need. Actually, ah, she's full on weapons, too. Alright, whatever. Here we go. Partner turn. He's gonna escape. Ah, ah. At last, I can leave this place behind. Thank goodness. I, I keep losing that voice for some reason. Like, I'm trying to do that, that accent. Why don't you escape, man? Why don't you escape? Just do it. Ah, whatever. Anyway. He doesn't want to escape. He should stay in his jail cell. Whatever he wants to do. I don't care. This is a counter. Ooh. ooh counter is going to be great. Who do I give that to? I wonder. If I could, if I give that to someone who's vulnerable, I could actually make them take out, make the counter attack very worth it. So anyway. So Tanya, time to escape. Order the students to escape. I, I'm going ahead. I'll keep the road secure. Are they going to say the same thing every single time? I'm kind of curious about that, actually. But anyway, though, can you escape from here? No, you can't. You're going to need another turn. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Hmm. Anyone missing health? Nope. No one's missing health. So, all right. We're going to have everyone flee on this turn now. You, Oscar. Your turn. Flee. Flee, my friend. Flee. I'm going to ride ahead, Ike. I want to see if there are more enemy units ahead. Aren't they saying the same thing as they said before? I feel like they are. Anyway. I don't like it, but I'll follow your orders and go ahead. But Ike, watch yourself. Alright, so they probably are saying the same thing then. But these guys are going to say something that we've never heard before. I'm moving out! Don't lag behind, Ike! No, don't worry, I won't. I'm fleeing on this turn too. Mia, what do you got to say? You know, sneaking around like this just isn't my way. No, is it not? That's unfortunate. Alright, you escape. Your turn. Hmm. 
I also wonder if I should take some things from him, though. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'll take something from him, just so... I don't think he's gonna leave, but at the same time, you know, better safe than sorry, right? Take his stuff. And that'll be that. We'll take one more turn than necessary, right? Or is he going to escape? Well, I'm going on now, like, I'll be waiting for you, so hurry! Don't worry, I will do so in the instant. Indeed, yeah! Dot, dot, dot. What's that supposed to mean, man? That was suspicious. Yeah, just watch as like a hundred soldiers just flood out of there and Rise and Ike get absolutely destroyed. That'd be funny. Not really. That'd be a horror. Anyway, escape. I wonder if I really sh if I should really go on ahead. You better hurry, Ike. And then this is where I said I wonder if British was given Rise's voice or something. I was being stupid or something. Saying the wrong thing. Of course I said the wrong thing. Time to get out of here. And that's the end of the chapter, everyone. Not too bad, actually. I brought one of the Crimean soldiers who was being held prisoner. Ahem. I'm sure you are unaware of this, but I am... Princess Alencia! Oh, yes. Quite right. I am Kieran. I served under General Geoffrey as leader of Crimea's 5th Platoon. My platoon had the honor of escorting you from the palace during Dan's attack. Really? You were there when... I was. Lord Renning ordered my platoon to accompany General Geoffrey and serve as your escort. Our mission was to see you safely out of Crimea to Gallia's King. But we failed you. And when you were lost to us, I believe my worthless life was at its end. Yet here you are, to think that I would be so blessed as to see you again. Such emotion. I... The tears. Kieran, were there any others? Such terrific emotion. So, I beg your pardon? Did anyone other than yourself survive? Of course. Though I was the only one unfortunate enough to suffer the misery of captivity. General Geoffrey and several of his soldiers fought off the day in attack. They were able to slip away. Even now they wait in Crimea, hoping for one last chance to strike a blow against Dan. Geoffrey! He is alive! Ah! How those words drive off the shadows across my heart! Thank you, Kieran. Thank you for surviving! You too- you are too kind, your highness. The opportunity to serve you again is the greatest reward I could ask for. For as long as I draw a breath, I will stand ready at your side. This, I swear. Alrighty then. Oh. Alright. We all know where Kieran stands. How about you two? Will you recognize Princess Valencia as the rightful heir to the Crimean throne? Will you fight for her? Look here, my name's Brahm and this lass is Nef- Nefany. We're just simple country militiamen from the same territory. Now, we don't know much about nobles and stuff. Kings and queens don't matter much where, when you're working the fields. Of course, we know we'll be in trouble if someone takes our fields away from us, so that's why we joined the militia. This King of Dane is no friend of ours, and I hear he's doing terrible things too. Wow, tortures with rusty nails and, and more. What's going to happen to my family? I left them all back home and I'm so worried I can hardly see straight. If you can defeat the King of Dane, Will this country return to the way it used to be? Is that what you're after? It is my hope. I may not be as powerful as my father, but I will never abandon Crimea. You sound like a lady who stands by her word. Looks like my choice is easy. Mine too. I'll fight in your name. I'll help you and yours, and we'll send those damn milk sops packing. Thank you. I beg your pardon. Your... Oh, bless Saint! Master Seraphin! Sephiron! You live! Rom, Nephany, are either of you wounded? We're fine, but what about you? You were jailed for helping us. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope they didn't hurt you. It is nothing to fret about. Everyone is safe, and that is what matters. Oh, bless one! Pardon me. May I have a moment? Yes. Oh, you're that man I met earlier. I owe you so much for freeing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't have to thank us. However, I'm curious about your situation. Why were you aiding Crimean soldiers? You have you questioned my story. You're a monk on a pilgrimage as well as an ally of Crimean resistance fighters. Under the circumstances, do you blame me? Tell me something, Ike. If you came across a wounded person, could you ignore his plight? Normally, no, I could not. But in times like these... Where it means risking my own life, I don't know. It's tough to say. 
<laughs> You're quite honest. However, if actually faced with such a choice, a man such as yourself would not hesitate. If faced with an individual in pain, you would act instinctively. Your body would not wait for the command. Who... who are you? Really? You're so calm, so full of peace. I can't believe you're a simple monk. If you'll forgive me, I must be going. Fare thee well, young warrior. I am certain that we will meet again. If you say so, man, if you say so. Ike! Oh, hello, Volk. What do you want? I was thinking about traveling with you for a bit. I'll be in the general area, so if you need anything, you can call me. I'll help you out for a fee, of course. What did you say? Why would you do such a thing? In times such as these, there must be many parties that need intelligence. Well, you've sparked my curiosity. And besides, no, we'll just have to leave it at that. That's not acceptable. Don't be so inflexible. It's not... It's not as if you all be joining your merry band or anything. This is strictly business. And yet you... Titania. I believe this is a good opportunity. We will almost certainly have need of this man's talents. He's a dubious character at best, but at least we know his motives. Everything begins and ends with gold. He'll be easy to control. Soren, he's standing right there. I don't think he minds. What will it be, Ike? The decision's yours. Let him come. I, I don't see why not. Again, what what would be the reason not to let him come? Very well, you may do as you like. Excellent. Call me if you need anything. So, yeah, anyway. First the thief and then that monk. What an odd band of characters you've attracted. Renolf, have you finished your errands? All done. What about those two? Yes, they're both rather mysterious. Well, the monk seems like a decent enough fellow. Determining who is a friend and who is a foe is something I must be able to do, but it's just so hard. That's only because you don't have enough information to base your JUDGMENT on! I couldn't say it loudly, it's late everyone, I'm sorry. All we have to do now is press on. You're right. Is that the end? Alright, that's the end, so... Whew. Anyway, everyone, I just want to ask a quick question here. I don't really want to spend 50,000 gold on that guy's services, so if you could let me know what his services are, that would be great. That way I can save the money. I don't even know if I'm going to be, if that's going to be an option, uh, whatever. Anyway, that's just my question. What does he give me for 50,000 gold? Just, just let me know. Anyway, though, everyone, I'm going to see you guys later. Ugh. I'm just, my throat is dying right now. You can practically hear it. Uh, goodbye.